Okay, this is the part two of the updated walkthrough for Huntsman's Cops. Um, I decided to do it right now instead of killing all the enemies because if, I'm not going to be able to hit this bonfire if I do it that way and I'm not going to spend hours running back and forth from the bottom bonfire to this bonfire. So in here you see this bonfire. As you can see, you cannot open it. It's locked. Um, so what you're going to want to do is come over this way. Now I am um, going to just use Soul Spear on everything because I'm trying to get this done quick. So there's going to be that guy. Okay, so we're going to take care of these two guys. Now coming up here, you're going to want to be cautious because you're going to have a crystal lizard um, in the middle of the enemy. So you're going to want to save your stamina until right about when you get to the top. This way you're able to run after it and get it before the enemies. Um, there you go, you got the lizard. Now you want to kill him and then you're going to want to kill him. Uh, or actually take him out and then take him out. And then once you've done that, you'll be able to come over here. Get the lizard. Might as well pick all this crap up. Um, okay, my inventory bag is full, um, so I'm just gonna drop. Um, I'm gonna drop some throwing knives because I don't use them anyway. So we're gonna discard 20 of them. And we'll pick that up. Coming over here, you're going to have a um, this guy here. Okay, so as you can see, he's dead. Now that you've done all this, um, before before you get this, because you are going to want to drop down here and grab that. But before you do that, my suggestion is to do it the easy way and come over here and kill the enemies first. So, we're actually going to use an amber herb. Um, I don't normally do this when I'm enemy killing, but because of the fact that I am going to get invaded, uh, I'm going to make sure that I have my magic up to stock. Hey, man. Getting sick of being full of shit and um, not being able to pick stuff up, so huh, that solves that problem. At least for a little bit. Okay, so after you've killed him, that bonfire that was locked, the key is in here. So, but first, you're gonna want to take this bag out, and I don't know why, but lately it seems like they fucking hit me every time, regardless of what I do. There's the undead lockaway key, that's for the bonfire. Now, now that you've done all that, you're going to be want to be prepared because you're going to have um, an, an invader. You're also going to have two big red guys that are going to be coming up out of the ground. So you're not going to want to run too far ahead because if you do, you're going to draw out the invader at, while being attacked by these bags at the same time. Um, so, and the other one's coming up behind me right now, as you can see. Oh my god. We're gonna wanna heal real quick and then deal with this fucking invader too. Um like I said, you wanna be cautious because you'll wind up with um all of them on you at once and that's a guaranteed pretty much death. Um so
Okay, so now that they're all fucking taken care of, thank God. <laughs> we don't have to worry about the invader no more. The only thing we have to worry about is them two red phantoms from here on out. Because they spawn ten times just like the other enemies. Now when I do this, I'm going to be taking that path um, back through where the skeletons are, but I'm going to be coming from the opposite side of the bonfire, so because it's pointless to go the other way, you might as well do it the way that um, you can go. So what's going to happen here is you're going to see it from the other side. Um, if you're going on, you want to be careful there so you don't fall off um, when you're grabbing that corpse. Okay, um, so now we are going to do the uh, skeleton area. Be cautious coming in here because um, you're going to have a pyro over here and you're going to want to take him out as quick as possible because uh, these skeletons cannot be killed until you do. So. Oh my god, come on. Man, get fucking real. Okay, I've had enough of this fucking gay shit. Okay, so now that should um, make it easier to take this bag out and dodge his arrow. Then you're going to want to light your torch. We're gonna, I don't need it to come through here, but I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, over here, the pyromancy, tight, or combustion, I mean, with a titanite shard. And then as you come around this way, you're going to have the, um, another one of these. So taking that out, over here you're going to have this skeleton, if you came from the other side you'll be able to see him but you will not be able to open this, so this will open the passage, the shortcut, and that's playing butterfly times three. Um, now coming over here you're going to really want to be cautious, um, mainly because you're going to have this pyromancer here. And take him down, and then switch to your sword, and there's going to be a skeleton that's going to spawn here. And then you're going to have these bags. So, get rid of them. One hit kills. I'm going to be cautious of this curse jar over here. And you got this skeleton standing over here. And then okay so that way you can see in here this way here is the path that goes back over by where we got the key as you can see now coming into the next room you're only gonna have one skeleton and you're gonna have a curse jar so just make sure to take the curse jar out um, so you're not getting cursed while you're doing this and then try to kill him before he even spawns so he can't stop you. And then you have this magic mace and titanite shard. And like this. And once you've done that, you've completed everything in this area. Um, except for unlocking this. Use the undead lockaway key. Like the bonfire, and then we're gonna go talk to this dude. He will teach you a gesture if you haven't already learned it. But if you've already learned it, you just talk to him and uh, get rid of him. Okay, he's done. 
As soon as I hit the bonfire, he disappears, and his summon sign, I believe, will appear somewhere because there's a reason he's here. Um, I've noticed that every NPC that you talk to that disappears seems to leave a summon sign somewhere. So, you know, if you're human, you'll see it. Um, but anyway, that's going to end the walkthrough for this section. Um, I hope this helped you, and good luck.